Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what narcissists hope happen after the discard. Please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And for one-on-one -on -one coaching, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.com. .co.uk What narcissists hope happen after discard There's something that narcissists expect and desire to happen after they discard you There's something they want to happen something they anticipate and it's very different from what a normal person might want for their relationship partner after their relationship is over. Because after a normal breakup, you might feel angry and hurt, but you learn to process those emotions. You get over it. And then you wish the best for the other person. You hope everything goes well for them. You wish them happiness and success without any hostility or hold any grudge against them because you want them to move on. And they may want you to move on as well. Or maybe you hope that they will have this epiphany and they will feel bad for their actions. You hope that they will realize what they had with you. But when you're dealing with a narcissist, it's a very different situation. Because there is no remorse. They don't feel bad for what they did to you. They're self-absorbed and they lack empathy. So they're not trying to change or to become better people. They only want to become better manipulators. And they most definitely do not want what is best for you. They do not take enjoyment from your success or good fortune. Because they're malicious, spiteful and hurtful. So they wish that something bad would happen to you. They desire to hurt, bother and infuriate you because they're cruel, mean and vengeful, which is why after they discard you, they're hoping they manage to succeed in destroying who you are. And they're hoping you stay stuck. Narcissists are skilled and strategic in destroying their victims. Everything they do is carefully designed and planned to serve a particular purpose at advantage. It's done with full awareness of the likely consequences which is why they target your inner foundation. Your inner foundation would normally help you live your life with less stress and overwhelm. Because it, it would help you to make decisions that shape your future for the better. So they weaken your foundation. To make you feel like life is constantly knocking you down. Just when things seem to be getting back on track. They pressure you and they target your sense of structure so that you feel overwhelmed and unable to make any real changes in your life. They target your mindset, values, habits, strengths and relationships because then you don't have the foundation necessary to support you, which may make you less stronger and less wiser. And what you may not realize is that they've been doing this from the very beginning. They have a desperate need to gain a psychological advantage over you, which is why they've been targeting your self-esteem for a very long time. Because nothing makes a narcissist feel better about themselves than to know that their victim is less powerful and less confident. They steal the things that are you. They take it on as their own personality. Or they use a lot of force and chaos to eradicate your feelings towards the things you love to do. Which is why by the end of the relationship, you are a very different person to who you were at the beginning. It's like two different personalities because you were never allowed to be you. They instilled these false beliefs within you and made you feel like you're not enough. As though you're a failure and you don't deserve anything because they do not want you to succeed. If you succeed, 
it harms how they see themselves because their false identity is tied to how you're doing and your success leaves them powerless over you. It renders them ineffective, which means that they have no control over how they see themselves because they can't regulate their own emotions from within. And it's why not only do they want to destroy you while you're in the relationship, but they also want you to continue the job after they're gone by staying negative and pessimistic because they do not want you to move on. They do not want you to be happy. They want you to be inauthentic just like them. They have a false self and they want you to live with a false self. Because while you may be able to heal and become better, they can't. They're unable to become a good person. They can only live for their false self. They are aware that you have a true self, even though you may not be aware of it. But they want you to live with a false self because they live with a false self. And they accomplish this by taking away your free will, by preventing you from being yourself. They invalidate your thoughts and feelings. They shame you for having your own, your own perspective until you no longer feel safe being your, yourself. Because whenever you were being yourself, they lashed out at you because that's something they don't have. They don't have a true self. So they have to make you feel unsafe anytime that you're being yourself so that you stop living as yourself and instead you live as a false self. But the false self you have is different to the narcissist. The narcissist is pretending to be something while you were made to feel unsafe. So you stopped being yourself in order to protect yourself because they kept you stuck in a trauma response of fight, flight, freeze, or fawn until you became codependent and you became mentally, emotionally, or even physically reliant on the narcissist because you felt like it wasn't safe for you to be yourself. So you stopped being yourself and you became what made the narcissist happy so that you could feel safe, which is exactly what the narcissist wants for you. They want you to keep trying to protect yourself instead of you being your authentic self because they can't be authentic and they don't want you to have or be something they can't, which is why they create so much drama, trauma and chaos and they pile all of these duties and responsibilities onto you where you may want to prove to everyone that they are the real abuser, which again is exactly what they want for you. Because they know that by doing that, you're just wasting your time. They are master manipulators. And from the very beginning, they have been smearing your name to make everyone believe that you are the problem. And when you figure this out and you leave them or they discard you, they're already prepared because they understand that with you being an authentic person, you are a threat to their reputation which is why they go through so much effort to create a false narrative. And it's why they actually enjoy seeing you try to prove that you were victimized by them. Because they know you're never going to out manipulate them. They've been manipulating people their entire lives. They had to in order to survive because they couldn't get their needs met by being authentic. And they understand that you can which is why they know that you're never going to be able to out them because there's far less of an incentive for you to do that than there is for them. They manipulate people to control them in order to prop up their fragile ego and they get off on people, putting people down and making them feel inferior. They get a rush from having power and control over other people's lives, but they know that you would feel guilty by doing what they do they know it wouldn't sit right with you at all because they understand that you are an honest person. If you weren't an honest person, they wouldn't have been able to manipulate you, which is why they love it when you try to prove your innocence 
or that you were a victim of theirs. Because then it distracts you from your life, which is exactly what they want. Because they don't want you to have something that they can't have. They have no life. They are completely empty inside. Which is why they are driven to seek validation at any cost. So that they can construct a facade and manipulate the people around them. Their entire life is a lie and deep down they know it. Which is why they get mad any time that you try to confront them. But you have a genuine desire to help people and bring positivity to people's lives. And they hate that about you. Because it reminds them that your cup is full. You're satisfied. And life will never be like that for them. Which is why from the very beginning, they're already two steps ahead of you. They're manipulating you before they even fully know who you are. Because they know that no matter how great you are or how great you become, it's never going to be enough for them. It's never going to be enough to fill that gaping hole inside of them. Which is why they're already planning to do you in right from the start. Because they've already given up. They've already lost all hope in themselves and their lives. They see it as though the only way anything is going to go their way is if they manipulate and exploit people. So in essence, they are dead inside, which is why they always want you to be focused on them because it gives them supply. It gives them your energy, which is why they don't want you to focus on yourself. They want you to focus on people who don't believe you to further invalidate and gaslight you and isolate you and keep you alone. They seek to dominate and control, which is why they hate your resilience and they do not want you to succeed because it severs ties between you and them while they derive pleasure from destruction, which is why they're bitter and strongly opposed to any progress or happiness you may achieve. But while you can move on, they can't. They're incapable of even imagining the idea of moving on. So your happiness and joy is a direct threat to their power. And instead, they wish for you to experience continued self-destruction. They want you to be trapped in the same existence as their own. Because they don't live an authentic life. They use masks to impress other people. While you have the ability to be authentic which is why they have to strip away your free will, your independence, self-sufficiency, and self-determination so that you're no longer true to yourself. And then they create a distorted version of yourself through their influence. But you can heal and rediscover yourself. And this all begins by removing toxic people from your life and the influence that they previously had over you because they do not want you to heal. And they do not want you to heal because they don't want to heal. They will always be stuck at the same emotional development of their traumas in childhood because they like their disorder, which is why they do everything in their power to perpetuate it. They seek narcissistic supply. And when someone isn't following their script, doesn't respond to their revelation, or has figured out the truth about them, it causes a narcissistic injury. And then they will pull out all the stops to devalue and degrade them until they become a shell of who they used to be. Because the narcissist senses it as a threat to their false self. And they want to continue living with a false self. They don't ever want to be left in a position where they would have to deal with their traumas and become an emotionally mature adult. They will use every trick in the book to avoid having to do that. Which is why it's really only you in this situation who has the power to change. You must do the inner work, process the emotions, and seek a licensed therapist to guide you along the healing. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor.
You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.